What's going on everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some more Forza Horizon 4 and uh, if you're new, please subscribe, helps a lot. Have to do this, every single time I do this I get an influx or like a, a little boost in subscribers so I have to say, I feel like I'm just shooting myself in the foot if I don't say it. So, if you're new to the channel, you enjoy the content, please subscribe. Helps me out a lot. There's a small portion of you guys that are subscribed, trying to get to a goal by the end of this year. 350,000 subscribers. Uh, it's it's up to you if you want to subscribe. Anyway, in the last video, uh, or if, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail of this video, I try every single one of your tunes that you sent me. Now, the thing is, in the last video, I ended up asking you guys to send me some tunes, just like usual. But instead of me picking like two of the tunes that you guys sent me, I said I was going to pick every single tune, and I'm going to do it for today's video. I feel like that was a bad idea. First of all, because um, I don't know which map I should be playing on. I'm probably going to go to the LEGO expansion. The LEGO expansion has some decent bits and pieces where I can test stuff out on. Uh, has some rally courses, has a good, like a decent drift section, has a little track that I can race around in, so I can kind of mess around there, right? That's why I think the LEGO expansion might be kind of good for this sort of stuff. Um, so I, I guess I solved that problem. The second one is I didn't expect so many comments. <laughs> I didn't expect so many tunes. I haven't counted them, so I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm... I've signed myself up for. I honestly thought I was gonna get maybe around like 20 tunes or something like that. There's there's more. There's more. I know that there's people that just, you know, left a random or like a normal comment on the video without just like sharing a tune. But there's 155 comments on that video. So yeah, it's it's a lot of stuff happening. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of all this. I need to start scrolling up into these comment sections, like and I have to start finding stuff. So um scroll up a little bit. A lot of these people are just pretty much saying first, so let's get past all of those people. Okay, we found one. I found one. If your tune hasn't made it onto this list, I don't know how it didn't make it. I've literally even went on like the comments that are like helpful reviewers, stuff like that, that apparently the game, or not the game, but YouTube thinks it's like, you know, they're not supposed to be on YouTube. I, I don't even know, to be honest with you. Regardless, I even went onto those comments and I approved all of those comments that have share codes. And that is pretty much what's happening in today's video. So. Let's get started. First tune. Right, this is the first tune. Let's, uh, let's download it. Apparently it's a, not a drift tune. Uh, Fire Breather. Right. Anyway, uh, it's a really nice car to be on, though. I really want to drive this thing. So, this is, I guess, how this is going to work. I need to get, download that, go to the car of choice, the car that people have ended up using. There's a t DBS of Progera, I'm pretty sure, and... Put the tune on and drive it and see what it's like. See what people have, uh, have actually made for me. I feel like this is going to take so much longer. There's a tune. 745 horsepower, 938 newton meters of torque, 1,499 kilos. Uh, it's top of S-Class. Wait, what does that say? That says something. Let of while driving. Uh oh, what? Let of while driving. Enjoy. Oh, let off. People and their spellings, man. God's sake. Right, I guess it's just a lot of. I'm letting off while I'm driving. What's happening? I don't get it. Is this supposed to like shoot flames? I guess it's supposed to be a lot of backfire. All right, next one is a quarter mile drag tune, which unfortunately I am not on the main map, but that's okay. We'll download this, and I'll just go to the drag strip and just use it here. It's not quarter mile. I'm pretty sure it's just a tiny, tiny bit longer than a quarter mile. Um, we got an H6 though, so let's go over to Toyota and get into the H6. And I'll put the tune on it. I'm down. I'm down to try this. So, it's, it just says fun drag tune, quarter mile code. It's obviously a lot faster. I'm pretty sure it has a super engine in it now. Jesus, this thing pops wheelies. Oh my god. Okay, so it's, it's quick. It is very quick. Right then. Let's bring it over to the drag strip and try this out. 
I feel like this could be a really, really fast game. I, I, see, the thing is, if this was tuned for quarter mile, and then it stops at the quarter mile, um, you know, top speed wise, I feel like that'll be kind of dumb. I mean, the, it's good for the tune, but dumb for the video, is what I mean to say. Alright, anyway, let's just go for it. Let's just see how fast this thing is. I mean, I know it's going to be very, very fast. This could even be the thumbnail car as well, just if it pops wheelies. Oh. My god. <laughs> I didn't expect that. That's a terrible launch. 8.6. It's not. It's this is longer than a quarter mile as well. Could you imagine just getting 8.6 in a quarter mile though? What is going on here? Look at it. Wow. Just wow. Like what the hell? <laughs> it's just sunken into the ground. I didn't actually know that the. The 86 would do stuff like this. That is crazy. Oh, just like that. I squeezed an 8.565. I'll leave it there. Let's move on to the next tune. I need to do this quick or else the video is going to be like 30 minutes long for no reason. Anyway, that was a very good tune. I really enjoyed it. I feel like this would be an absolute monster in a quarter mile, but this is obviously a slightly longer try. But very good tune. I like this one a lot. Next up, BMW M1 as a drift build. 860 horsepower. Nice. It's rear wheel drive. Even better. Mid-engine rear wheel drive as well. This could be kind of nice. I never actually thought about sliding this thing around. Very good. Uh, it's a grip tuner, apparently. Oh, it's not a drift tune. Grip tuner, trying my first dri Wait, what? Grip tuner, trying- Oh, I get it, I get it, okay. Now, he says he's a grip tuner, so he, he tunes cars specifically for grip racing. Um, and then this is his first attempt as a drift build. So let's give it a shot. I'm very, very hyped for this. I like the M1 in general. I feel like the M1 is very, very cool. Super, super retro car. Especially with the way I made it look. Like, there's not much going on here. I just wanted to make it look really, really low. And it looks great. But, obviously... Now, I need to try out a nice tune for this thing. So, easy drift, apparently. Let's install this, and let's see what it's like. I need to, um, let's figure out a nice little section to slide around with here. Oh, it's got an AMG engine in it. It's a BMW M1 with a, with a Mercedes engine. I go around this this drift section or drift zone. I mean, it's fairly easy to slide. I mean, again, did he use the same wheels that I did? If he used the same wheels that I did, you're an absolute legend because those are the perfect wheels. I'm pretty sure they're the same wheels that the normal BMW has, except with like more dish. Let's have a look. Yes, you absolute legend, you did. Except you painted the black, which is just yucky, so don't like that. I mean, it's fairly easy to drive. There's there's nothing really crazy about it. You didn't overpower it either, like you didn't just give it like a thousand horsepower and be like, here you go, here's a thousand horsepower drift build, like everyone does. Pretty easy to control. I can send it sideways, I can catch it. I can hold really good angle with it. I think power to rate... Yeah, power to weight ratio with this thing is clean. I really like it. I think on a needle climb, this would probably get a decent amount of points. But overall, super, super, super easy to slide. Very, very, very smooth. I can hold big angles, like I said. I can, I know what I need to slow down. Very predictable. The front wheels are nice and twitchy, they just point you in the right direction so easy. Yeah, it's it's a really good build. I like it. Next. Ooh, a 510. I like it. Front engine, rear wheel drive, 796 horsepower. Uh, it's got 3 liter in it. Nice. Um, I don't know, 17 newton meters of torque. It's obviously another drift build, so let's put it on. Let's put this on and see. Uh, I'm gonna go to Datsun, 510. Right. Let's install this thing. 
I feel like this should also be really, really good. Because it's such a small car, very short wheelbase. And um, I usually like sliding around in these. It just makes it so fun. Um, it just makes it so fun to drive around in these, these little cars. Uh, I think 800 horsepower is going to be a little bit much for this thing. Uh, especially with the power all going to the rear wheels. Yeah. I was going to say. All the power going to the rear wheels has got to be a little odd to... To try slide this thing. It doesn't need that much power. Yeah, I think it's got too much power. I'm pretty sure the tires on the back of this thing only go up to like 205s or something like that. I don't think they can go any wider because it's, it's a tiny little car. It's got way too much power for the amount of grip that it has. It's, it's a little strange to drive, I'll, I'll tell you that. I'm in like 5th gear, man. Like even a 6th, like I'm pushing this thing sideways. That's crazy. Yeah, it's overpowered. It doesn't need this much power. If you have the horsepower of this thing, this would be just a, a better experience. Right, we got a Rally Porsche. Uh, Porsche, sorry. It's a, it's a Porsche. Uh, 718. And... I feel like this could be kind of fun again. It's a it's a little car, which means short wheelbase, which means it's gonna be very very nippy. I feel like this person's gonna ha or probably did. I was about to say I feel like this person's gonna is gonna put a lot of power into it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he already did. I I didn't really pay attention to the tune that I downloaded. Um, it's also a rally tune, so it should be kind of fun. And um, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, what am I doing? I'm getting confused. I'm pressing so many buttons all at once. Tuning setups, my tunes, rally Porsche. Mix, mixer surface racing. Mixer. <laughs> Mixer's dead, bro. <laughs> mixer doesn't exist anymore. What was that? 800 horsepower. Is that what I saw? What did I just see there? No, it's 316. 316 horsepower, 316 meters of torque. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I don't know why I thought... Uh, for some reason I saw 800, but it's not 800. It's actually really grippy on, on like tarmac. It's really grippy on tarmac. Oh, I like it. I really do like it. Um, again, massive, massive section of. Uh, I could probably just go down here and do this one. See that one? I feel like it doesn't have as many turns. Up here in the desert, it's all just like really high speed stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go all the way down here. Come over to here. I'll do a nice little loop with this thing, so I can actually see what it's like on dirt. I feel like it should be really, really good, though. It doesn't have a lot of power, which I love. Yeah, it's good. Already, the first corner. Oh, I love it. It's so good. What is it with Porsches and being such good rally cars? Like, they're so good. And so many of them. Yeah, I'd really like this tune. Damn, you guys were... Um, I run it with, uh, with the tunes today. Or for this video. You guys definitely share some really good tunes. Look how quick it is to like snap in the, the direction that you're pointing at. Even slowing down, you don't even have to slow down that much. That was clean. That was such a clean little lap. Actually, I haven't really finished it. It's, it's here, isn't it? That was very clean. What a good build this is. Honestly. I love that it's not, like, overpowered. I love that this person didn't give it, like, a thousand horsepower again. Like, it's just... 300 horsepower, and it feels so much faster than 300 horsepower, I'll tell you that. Because you don't really have to slow down a lot for these corners. Like, you sort of go into them, and... You know, you slow down a little bit, but... This thing takes all these corners like an absolute champ. Look at it. I'm doing like 100 miles an hour around these corners. And it doesn't slide. It just grips and grips and grips and just keeps on gripping. Oh, that's a big jump. Let's go around the water if we can. Oh, 
Oh, it's such a good tune. Alright, let's send it off into the, the sunset. <laughs> right. That was really good. I enjoyed that tune. Let's move on to something else. Right, this person sent me two uh, tunes, and I'm gonna pick one of them. Apparently one of them is a drift one, and one of them is a racing one. I don't know which one's which. I'm just gonna pick the first one here. Um, it is for a... or oh, for the singer 911. And, uh, like I said, I don't know which one's which. Okay, this one's for drifting. I'll, I'll mess around with this one. Why not? I'll mess around with this, uh, with this thing. It's because someone already sent me a build on the, the Singer 911. I'm pretty sure. Or is it just because I messed around? I, I drove it in one of the videos. I remember I did drive it in one of the videos, but I don't remember. Um, I don't remember if it was for, like, one of these videos where you guys send me your tunes. Well, I love the Singer. Oh no, I, I'm pretty sure it was like the, the best sounding cars in the game. I'm pretty sure that's what this was. Um, but yeah, this is what this one, this person, not this one, this person has sent me. Not really much difference here. Um, when it comes to this. Are the wheels any different? No, he did change the size of them. Uh, still rear drive, which is good. I feel like this is very similar to stock. <laughs> Go back over to here. A lot of this little little sections, little drift sections to drive around in. Um, yeah, that's why I'm not picking like many tunes from the same people. Like I'm just gonna pick one of your tunes. So I'm gonna move on. I don't know what these gear ratios are. They're a little weird. I feel like the first gear is just really long, and the second gear is just. Oh, sorry. First gear is like really really short, and the second gear is really really long. That's what I meant to say. I mean, I love driving the Singer 911. The, the Singer 911 is like such a clean car to, to race with and drive around and drift and everything. Such a well-balanced car. And it sounds great too. I love the way this thing sounds. He didn't give it a lot more power. But for some reason, it feels like it has... Maybe a little bit too much grip. It's weird again, just sliding around all in second gear. It's not bad. It really isn't bad. It's just, I kind of feel... Like it has a tiny bit too much grip. I don't know if that's just this build or if it's the Singer 911 in general. See, like here, I just like sort of, I have to go down on the, on the inside. I can't be on that bank. Or else I'm not going to be able to get any points. How wide are these tires? They're very, very wide. Yeah, you don't. I don't know why this person gave it such wide tires. I don't think you need, you need them to be that wide. Yeah, they're really, really wide. Probably like the widest you could possibly give this thing. Yeah, for drifting, especially if you're having like only like 700 horsepower or whatever, it's not fantastic to do that. And also, this person has absolutely ruined the toe on this thing. I don't know, like if you wanted to build it for like point drifting or what. But look at it. It's just like sort of pulling in random directions by itself. And it's because of the heavily excessive toe that this person used. You sometimes do that for like point drifting, but I mean, or you do it so like it's it like snaps quicker when you're changing direction. I don't know. It's weird. I'm not sure if I if I like really really love this tune. Um, it's okay. I can still slide it. Like, you know, there's nothing really wrong with it. But yeah, don't know about that one, man. Really don't know. I feel like it still has a bit too much grip. Maybe less. Like, a worse tire compound or less uh, width on the back wheel. You know, make it thinner or something. I don't know. Between the last tune and this tune, by the way, I went to the bathroom and I had to take the steamiest dookie ever. You've no idea. It was just... Oh, it was fantastic. It just felt so good. Anyway, back to the video. Yeah, this dude said, uh, I've got some muscle car. Uh, share code, you can choose uh, a rear-wheel drive tune or an all-wheel drive tune. Be careful with gas. Fourth and fifth gear are your friends. Um, and then he also gave me an all-wheel drive tune, but uh, I'm not a pussy, so you know I picked the rear-wheel drive tune because you know, like I said, I'm not a pussy. I don't know, like it's it is for drifting. Um, 
I mean, maxing it out, 1,400 horsepower, all going to the rear wheels. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. Oh, it's a V12 swap. Oh, yucky. Ewy. Alright, anyway, let's just slide this thing. Let's see what it's like. Apparently, like I said, 4th and 5th gear are my friends, so... Let's see what this thing is made of. I mean... It's incredibly overpowered. And I literally mean that. Like, it's got too much power. It doesn't need this much power at all. I also don't like that it's V12 swapped. So don't know why I said 4th and 5th year are my friends. It just, it just feels like it, it drops a bit too much in 4th, especially on the tighter corners. I like that the setup is actually really good. The setup, I, I'm, I can't complain. I like the suspension setup. I think it's clean. It's easy to use. I don't know why I said clean. Clean is not a good adjective to use in that, <laughs> in that sentence. But it's well, it's well tuned. I like the suspension setup of this thing. I think it's uh, it's really nice, really nicely tuned. The only thing I don't like about it is V12 swapped. That's a bit, eh. but like I said, the suspension setup is uh, sort of making up for this thing sounding like this. Yeah, well, with everything that I said, uh, yeah, I stand by this being a very iffy car. So like, it's all, uh, I don't know. I think I'd like it a lot more if it wasn't engine swapped. Next thing we have is for this. Oh, it's a drag build. Interesting. Mediocre drag tune. After all, this is my first tune. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll try it out and I'll see what it's like. Um, it's not really difficult to... Uh, I don't know why I did that. I wanted to fast travel to it, but then I... Then I thought to myself, I was like, there's no point fast traveling. It's, it's literally right here. Oh, well, it's got no brakes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do it like this. Again, this is like a third of a mile, so it's a, just a slightly longer... Well, slightly longer drag strip than the quarter mile that people usually tune their cars for. Which is where the festival is on the main map. But that's fine. Let's see how this thing launches. Let's have a look. Okay, it, it launches terribly. Unless you want me to launch this thing in second, um, launching it in first, it just doesn't do anything. So, the, the way you should build, I know you said this is your first tune, the way you should build your drag builds is you should really focus on the launch, especially if it's a rear wheel drive. Um, focus on it not wheel spinning. See the way it wheel spins in like first and second? You have to try and work on that. There's definitely tutorials out there that will teach you how to build that, so it, it, this is slow. This is this is very slow. I feel like you could make this thing or build this thing really, really fast if you... Uh, if you correct your transmission setup. Because right now it's terrible. Like, it, it just feels like you've done nothing to it. Like, I'm trying my best here. I was literally trying my best to get it to not spin as much as possible so I can try and see if I can win this. So I got 10.5 out of it. Um, but yeah, you have to work a lot to not get it to spin. Like, you want to constantly just mash the throttle. Like, you want it to be as fast as possible, so you have to use as much power as possible. Um, and then if you want to do that without getting slip, you'd have to work in your transmission setup. Um, so yeah. And obviously, I think you should, uh, you should make it so the, uh... The suspension will also absorb a lot of the uh, the kick. See the way it leans back? You should get it so the uh, the suspension absorbs a lot of that as well. So it all is like inertia. It all like pushes the back wheels down into the ground, gets more grip and pushes you along. Um, so there's, there's, there's that with this tune. Yeah, not great. Again, it's your first tune, so I can't really like say anything like terrible about it. But I just told you pretty much on what you should really... Uh, work on to to get this thing to be a lot faster because I really do think that these cars can go very 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 fast 
especially in uh, in drag races. Uh, someone sent me a tune here saying that it's it's on keyboard. I don't really want to play on my keyboard, but I'll, I guess I'll do it for for this thing. So what is this? A front wheel drive drift build. Why do I want to play with this on keyboard? Front wheel drive drift build. It just means that you have the CRX and you just put a bunch of power to it and you just drive it around with with a handbrake held. I guess that's pretty much the whole build that I'm I'm gonna end up uh, looking forward to now. All right. Let's go then. Keyboard time, boys. Keyboard time. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but you will definitely should be able to see. This is terrible. <laughs> uh, this guy sent me a Senna tune that sinks into the ground. Um... Sure, let's put it on. I feel like this should be good for a drag race, right? If I go ahead and I and I use the drag race. It doesn't seem like it wants to sink into the ground. Oh, there he goes. Never mind. I just needed a little bit of a... Yeah, once you get it up to speed, it definitely will sink into the ground. Uh, and if you go in the bank here... Yeah, it definitely sinks into the ground. Oh my god. Because I'm going around the corner, it like sinks one side into the ground. There it is. There it is. There's the sunken... The sunken Senna. That's just funny looking. Alright, cool. That was, that was good too. It's, it's funny to watch it do like dumb things like this. Look at it. My rage is gonna disappear. Like I'm just gonna sink the entire thing into the ground. <laughs> Alright, the next one is, I guess, a build that sort of represents, or it replicates, um, Joe Tackett's front-wheel drive drag Civic from Need for Speed Pro Street. Uh, manual with clutch. I'm down to try it. Manual clutch and just floor it. Yeah, I'm down to try it. Alright, I'm taking it in a drag race. It has to be tested out in a drag race. It has to be, right? That's, that's the whole point of this thing. It's a drag build Civic. Okay, let's go. Let's see if this thing is any good. Again, manual with clutch. I have to remember how to, like, change gears. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. You're 12.4. I can probably do better, but that's 12.4. We'll, we'll, we'll do another couple of runs. I think I short shifted. And this was definitely built for a quarter mile because I can see how much longer the the car has to drive and I have to change gear again at the end. When I'm pretty sure in a quarter mile I wouldn't have to. So let's try not short shift at the beginning because I did see this this thing would like just sort of rev out rev out all the way to the end. Okay, 73 miles an hour is top speed in first gear. I wanted to check that, just to be 100% sure. So I don't end up short shifting. Wait, well, yeah, he said just four, so I'm just gonna just keep pouring it. That's the one. That is the one. And those are the shifts. Okay, I've still messed up one of the shifts there, but... Overall, it was, it was decent. 12.3. I'll take that. I'll take that. Let's move on, because I've been recording for so long right now. It's it's actually crazy. Okay, well, next one seems to be a top speed build. It's a top speed all-wheel drive car. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to go back to the main map because of it. So let's go back to the main map. We'll load that. And then I'll load the build and do the rest of it. I'll probably finish the, the whole thing. I know I have a few left. I can see like how far I've scrolled through this page of comments, and um, yeah, I think I only have like a good few left. But yeah, let's uh, let's try this out. It has to be on this map. Like, if I want to give it like the full props that it needs, I can't just drive around that ring. Do that, <laughs> okay? A Ford F one hundred all wheel drive V twelve swapped. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Um, all right, let's go over to it then. Uh, Ford. So from this end, there's an F100. Get in it. Put the tune in. Top speed all-wheel drive car. I wonder. I wonder what is the actual top speed of this thing. I feel like it could be good. 
But I don't know about handling. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't know about. Also, I'm slowly losing my voice because I've I've been speaking for so long. <clears throat> I just I'm just slowly losing my voice, especially since I've been so, um, so active on my YouTube. It's just like the entire. Oh, I forgot I'm in manual clutch still. We'll just go from here. Oh. Okay. Ooh, okay, that definitely doesn't steer. This is definitely the thing that I was worried about. But this thing is actually turning. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's struggling a little bit. Come on. 226. Two twenty seven, two twenty eight. Well, I mean, fair enough. Maybe I've had a longer run up. Um, I thought I had a seven gear, but it doesn't. But two twenty eight isn't terrible. Uh, it's a little bit of a weird car to be uh to be sending me that stuff. Uh, but um, I guess fair enough. Um, anyway, next up, uh, this person again sent me two tunes. Typical people don't listen, but yeah. Anyway, I'll just pick whatever one's at the top. Two forty. Eight, two, four, three, eighty. And this is a tune for a drag built Corvette. That's fine. We have a drag strip on the map. On the main island. Uh, that's the wrong thing. Swap over to the Corvette. Uh, there's Chevy. There's a Z06. Change over to it. I'm going to probably go back to the... Uh, Probably gonna go back to the just playing with manual instead of manual or clutch because I feel like especially for really really fast cars like cars that have like a stupid amount of power and uh, especially more modern cars where they change gears very very quickly I feel like it's not really a massive thing playing manual or clutch but if you are playing with older cars then yes it would definitely make much more sense to drive around manual or clutch because you do change gears a lot faster than if you just leave it manual um, so yeah. Let's do that. Uh, go over to the drag strip. I'm already at the drag strip. Come back. I don't know why this thing has a wing. I feel like that'll just slow it down. It doesn't make sense for it to have a wing. If you made this a drag build, why did you add all the aero parts on it? That doesn't make sense. You're literally adding drag. And even if you do set these, I'm pretty sure to zero, right? To have all these parts and then you set all of them to, to zero when it comes to aero or to downforce. Uh, I don't think that, like, I think, I still think it's worse having parts on versus not having anything. This was definitely built for quarter mile. You can see it when it just tops out in fourth gear. 8.5. I'm going way off to the left. I feel like this one's going to be slower. I swear to God, if it's the same time. I think it's slower, though. 8.551. It's actually faster. Weird. Um, there you go. That's pretty much it. The Corvette. Yeah, I don't know why you put aero parts on it. it doesn't make sense. Okay. Next one. Ooh, race grip. Oh, ew. All wheel drive. Um, it could still use the same engine though. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give this a benefit benefit of the doubt. So, hopefully, this thing is nice to drive. Um, again. BMW M2 has to be rear wheel drive. Come on, it's it's supposed to be, right? It's supposed to be rear wheel drive. Um, but, but, uh, I honestly do think that even with all wheel drive, uh, that's the wrong thing. Um, race grip build. There we go. Let's put this on. I got kicked for some reason. Uh, I guess I'm joining back. Ooh, got a big old, big old Forza wing on it. I like the lack of slip. That's good. Ooh, I quite like this actually. I feel like you can still do really well with just just rear wheel drive though. If you have a proper diff setup, you can do really well with it. 
but I like it. I like the way this drives. It's nice. Because it's all-wheel drive, I'm going to try to take it up this little section over here to my right. Because I feel like it could handle, like, really, really tight corners very, very well. Yeah, there's such a lack of slip with this thing. Ooh, okay. Went a little bit too fast. I like it. I'm going a little bit too fast in these corners. I'm kind of overestimating on how good this guy actually is. When it comes to his brakes. Yeah, I feel like I'm running out of grip a little bit. It's good in corners. Is it on race tires? Or is it on drag tires? It could be on drag tires. It's on race tires. Pretty sure those are the race tires. Yeah, it's... It's good. I just need to brake earlier. I just feel like I'm... Sort of going a bit too fast. But yeah, the lack of... The lack of oversteer is just... It's, it's, a, little, it's a little nice. With this thing. Because obviously, it being rear-wheel drive, when you drive this thing, you just sort of get a huge amount of oversteer, especially when you just floor it. A little bit of understeer, just a tiny bit. Those front wheels are <laughs> very slowly losing grip um, when I'm driving a bit too fast. It, they don't want to like pull in and get the sink to, to oversteer. It does understeer just a tiny bit around higher speed corners, but overall very clean, very, very nice. Very clean lines throughout all these corners with this thing. Yeah, the, the grip is, is actually quite nice, I'm not going to lie, with it being all-wheel drive. I kind of thought I was going to hate it because, you know, BMW rear-wheel drive. Even if you make a BMW, you know, try to handle well instead of having it be, you know, really tail-happy. I still feel like you can keep it rear-wheel drive and have it drive really well, but yeah, I, I like this. I like this all-wheel drive. It's nice. Let's move on. Next tune. This is a cheap Grand Cherokee SRT. Okay. It's got 950 horsepower. Pretty sure it has the LS in it. Or it could actually have the standard engine that's in it there. Okay. 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 I feel like this could be quite good. That's not what I want to press. In here. Uh, go over to Jupe. Where is it? There it is. Let's grab this thing and uh, let's see now how this person has made it. I'm going to just slide everywhere here, where, exactly where I am right now. There's a lot of different bends and stuff like that that I can probably test this thing out on. Is it all-wheel drive, actually? Oh, it's rear-wheel drive. Even better. Even better. This is going to be fun. This is definitely going to be fun. I feel like this is... Okay. Wheels look disgusting. Um... Is it... Okay, so it's not built for... The needle climb. There's not excessive amounts of toe that people usually put on these cars. To get them to be good at uh, changing directions very quickly. Obviously, I've said this before. People used to do it all the time. Well, people still do it now, but... If they try to build something for point shifting... And they try to get it so it changes directions very, very quickly, they'll put like an excessive amount of uh, of toe on the wheels and you, it's very very noticeable but this one doesn't have it so it feels like it's a little bit more tame it just feels like I'm sliding around a massive brick though it, it just feels like that I mean I am but <laughs> it doesn't feel agile it just feels so bulky trying to slide this thing around I mean, I am going pretty quick around all these corners, so I don't really have like nice, nice and tight corners, you know, for me to like just push myself around. It's just all really high-speed corners. Quite nice. Uh, the angle that I'm, yeah. See what I mean? Like it's so. Oh, I'm still pushing this thing along. I've stopped. Accelerating. And I'm still pushing it along. It's a little weird with the fact that it's 
it's sort of sluggish uh, to change directions. Maybe this could actually use a little bit of a extra toe and camber setup to get the front end to change directions a little bit quicker. But it's not a terrible build. Right, this one here is supposed to be a drag build before a half mile, which is good. Because I'm on the main map, which is perfect for it. So, I got a Mustang. Um, I mean, I should be okay with drag racing this thing. It also says, don't go past fourth gear, which makes sense. I mean, I'll, I'll see when I drive it anyway. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what it's like for half mile. And it's this one. Okay. I think it said a time there in the description, but I didn't pay attention to it, so I don't really know 100% if it did say the time or not. But it looked like it did. A half mile is this. It's this drag strip right here. So I'm going to try fast travel over to this one and uh, do a run here. This is pretty much a half mile. I think it says 0.4 or something like that, but it's pretty much a half mile. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It does grip quite well. I'll leave it like this. Okay. I wonder. I wonder how fast this thing actually is now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't like that it's V12 swapped. That's the only thing I don't like about this. Okay. First gear is a little iffy there, launching this thing in first gear. And I feel like because it has all the drive, I think you could have done a little bit of a better job. Unless this is built for manual with clutch. Because then if it's built for manual clutch, I think the launching is a little different. You know what? Let, let's do that. Let's do manual clutch and see how this thing launches then. Again, it's just weird the way the way these differentiate, even though it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's a little strange launching this thing. Let's try that again, so I don't hit it off the limiter for too many times. I'm gonna try to see if I can slightly, slightly short shift second. Or like, as soon as I hit limiter, I'm gonna just change it to second. That was a good... Good gear change. I think I... Changed my car's direction a little bit too much. 12 seconds? 12.09? 12.04. Hmm. What does this tune say? I want to try to see what his tune says on this thing. 12.079. Well, I beat your I beat your time already. Um, with manual clutch. It's it's not bad. It really isn't bad. I need to just drive this thing in properly the straight line and try not to correct myself. But it is a little squirrely at the very beginning, and it does kind of like put you in a in a direction that you don't want to drive, and I, I have to correct it a little bit. But it's uh. It's actually kind of nice. That's what I wanted to do. That was pretty good. Trying to crush the these cones because I think it will slow me down a little bit. Again, I want to try to see if I can get an 11. 12.014. See what I mean? Like, it's, it's definitely possible for me to do a better time here. A manual clutch definitely helps a lot. I don't know if that third to fourth was a good change, but we'll just keep it, I guess. Yeah, it's just so close again. Probably uh, very, very similar to the last one, I'll say. 0 0.41 again. I'll leave it there. 12.014, or I think that's what it was. Uh, the fastest one. Not bad. Not bad. I'll give that a like. Why not? Since it asked me. So politely. <laughs> uh, I also do think that you should kind of get your gears. If I think maybe fourth gear could be just tiniest bit longer. Just tiny bit. So I don't head off the limit at the very end. And it just still feels like it's accelerating. Just a tiniest bit longer. I think it should be good. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on. Let's try to find a different tune. Alright, I have a front wheel drive wheelie tune showing up for me. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> right. Uh... <sighs> right. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Do I just drive this thing in reverse? I'm guessing, since it's it's a front-wheel drive. Um, where is it? There it is. There's a 205 rally. Okay, I need to 
now, I guess. Should I have this thing... Like this, right? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back into... What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I need to go into settings. I need to go into difficulty. Go back to manual. And then go all the way to the tune and put this on. Right. Has no description. I am guessing that I just have to go into reverse. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh, yes. That is ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> I don't know why I took a picture of it. Oh my god, I actually did the... Did, I didn't really... Oh my god, I didn't realize that this was the, the, the drag strip. I didn't actually mean to take a picture, by the way. I wanted to just, like, continue, but... That is mad. This could actually be... Let me get the exposure down a little bit. I can make this... <laughs> The thumbnail for the video. <laughs> Look at it. That is so jokes looking. I'm gonna give that a little screen cap there. That is too funny. I like this build. I have, I already like it. Oh my god. Shoot, come down, come down, come down. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. But can I do a little bit of freestyling with this thing? So what if I did something like this? Oh my god, this thing lifting off the ground is just one of the funniest things ever. Oh, this is way too good. All right, I have another turn here for the the machine. It's 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 literally what the the car is called, by the way. Um, there we go. The machine. Uh, it's supposed to be a grip tune, except for anything dirt related. So this should technically handle really well, right? That's what this person's kind of telling me. Grip and speed. It can be a Shelby Monaco. That's the highest ball Monaco at all. Um. Right. What can it beat it in? It's not faster at accelerating. It's pretty quick, though. Um, should I try? Let's try a little bit of handling. Apparently, this is supposed to be it's supposed to have a quite a quite a good amount of grip. If it's just built fast in a straight line, then I mean that's cool and all, but this also says that it has grip, so. Let's test that out. Yeah, it doesn't have grip, mate. It doesn't have grip. I don't know why you said it has grip. It doesn't. Look at it! It's understeering around that corner! Okay, listen. It's fine if you'd want to count this as a as a like straight line build. Let's just have a look at the top speed and acceleration of this thing. It's fine if you want to do that, but don't say it has grip because it doesn't. <laughs> okay, it does not have grip. All right, let's actually send this thing on a highway. Let's see what top speed it has. I wouldn't be surprised if it has a higher top speed than the Shelby Monaco. The Shelby Monaco is not really a, like built for top speed. Or you don't really build it for top speed runs. It's mostly for acceleration and handling. Okay, yeah. I tried to turn in to be on the inside of that car. But yeah, this thing does not have grip. So that is... That's just a lie. That's just a straight up lie. Um... I think I can do maybe like 265 with this thing. Two, three, four, 264. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's move on. Yeah, you kind of lied about the, the whole grip part of it. It just doesn't have it. It doesn't have grip. All right, someone sent me this thing. Um, it's an M3. It's rear wheel drive. 
not a point drift. A lol is literally the comment that this came under. Um, the name of it is literally just called Forza, so I, or Forza. Sorry, I need to keep correcting myself until I get it right. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to expect for this thing. It doesn't say anything about it. Like I don't, I don't know what it's for. I'm gonna guess it's just to slide around with. Or is it made to handle well? What is this made to do? It just feels like this person's just slapped a bunch of upgrades to it. Well, it definitely doesn't take corners. It does not take corners normally. Yeah, it's not great for that. What is it great for though? Should I try going sideways? Let's try going sideways. Maybe, maybe sideways. I mean, it's got the wide body on it. It's got the Forza Wang. I don't know. You know what this feels like? It feels like one of those cars that you get from when you're playing the the drift like story or whatever. Like one of the Formula Drift cars or, or something like that. It, it just feels like that. It just feels like it's not... It's just sort of like... Slapped a bunch of upgrades to it, and that's pretty much it. Without actually tuning it. I mean, I can slide it because it's rear-wheel drive and has power, but I don't really know what else to say about it. Like, All right, this person made a charger, a a, a drift-built charger, a A-class one as well, to be more precise. Weird. It's weird that it's A-class because. See, I don't know about that one, Chief. Is it A-class because you put really terrible tires on it? Is that is that why it's A-class? I love the Charger, right? I adore the Charger, and I like my build on it. I feel like it's really, really nice to drive. But I don't know about this one. Why is it A-class? That's what's kind of confusing me here. It has worse grip, so it has worse tires. But it has like a similar amount of power. It's got off-road tires on it. Why has it got off-road tires on it? <laughs> it does. It has it literally has off-road tires. Why? Well you just wanna have fun with an American American muscle car. Yeah, I'm on a highway trying to drift this thing. Let's let's actually bring it somewhere else. And uh, I'd attempt to slide it. I could really go around faster. Let's go around here. Let's go around here. I feel like this should be kind of a good few areas that I can try to slide this thing around. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about those tires, man. I can already see the lack of grip. Or sorry, feel it. I can feel the lack of grip. Yeah, it has... Has low, low grip, which means that I'm guessing this is used a lot for really slow drifting. Really slow drifting, even tandeming. Yeah, I think you could definitely use this thing for tandeming as well. It is quite nice to drive though. If I if I drive it slowly. Oh, that's the wrong entrance. Or the wrong um <laughs> the wrong road that I wanted to go on. It's a little odd to try drive and then just keep tapping the the, the brakes to like slow myself down. To have the backhand step out. But again, this is definitely one of those cars that you need to drive slowly. See, like here, for example, I can floor it and go all the way around it, but... I don't want it to speed up too much, because... It's not what it's used for. It's not bad. Yeah, I like it. Not bad at all. 
All right, let's move on to another tune. Ooh, okay. I like the 300. This could be quite nice to drive. It's an A-class as well. So it's not heavily overpowered or anything like that. It should be quite nice to drive. If it's tuned correctly, it could be very, very nice to drive. Um, Where's the 300? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm so blind. I'm so absolutely... There it is. I forgot I have some random livery on this thing. I don't remember this livery. Yeah, I don't remember the livery that I have on it. But, it's fine. doesn't matter. A-class. Should be quite fun. Let's see what's happening here with this tune. It was a drift build before. Still oversteers. Quite a lot. It's a street build, so I'm guessing it has a bunch of street parts, right? Or nothing too crazy when it comes to uh, to the whole build. So it's the top of A-Class. It doesn't handle particularly well. I feel like you could have done a lot more with the uh, with the old diff. Especially. It does really, really want to oversteer. Like, every chance it gets. It really wants to get his back out. Watch this. See what I mean? Like, every chance it gets, it wants to get that back up. It's easily controllable, so it's fine. But... I feel like, um... I feel like if you want to use this thing for, like, racing or anything like that, I think you should try to work on it a little bit more. There's a little bit of understeer there as well, somehow. Yeah, it's... It's a little strange to drive. Yeah, it's just a little odd. It is quite nice though. Like, the cruise in and stuff like that, it, it's... It's pretty nice. And now, the last one. Literally the last tune that I have available here is this one. Apparently it's tuned to drift. Oh my god. <laughs> It says, tuned only to drift, but it has a decent amount of grip. This is the last one that I have so far. I'm sorry if you're going to comment on this video after, or sorry, on the last video after this video's out. This is the last one that I see on my list here as I'm making this video. How, how is, how, and why did you make this thing slide? Where is it? There it is. I love the AMG GTR. Sorry, CLK GTR. But... Don't think this is one of those cars that I want to take out drifting. I feel like it's going to be terrible. I feel like this is going to be a bad build. Mid-engine rear-wheel drive. Again, he said it has a lot of grip, so or a decent amount of grip. So I don't know how that works. It just seems like it's fast. This is literally, it just seems like it's, it's built to handle. How is this for drifting? <laughs> Let's take it around these two corners here. Nice, nice and clean corners. Alright, nothing too crazy. Okay. You gave it so much power. You expect me to believe that this is supposed to be a good drift car. It's so twitchy. It's incredibly twitchy. The front end especially. Especially with this thing being uh, mid engine It's super, super twitchy. Has way too much power. Jesus. Can I drift it? Yes. Is it good? Uh, not really, no. It just feels so awkward driving it, or drifting it. 
it drifts and it, it revs really really quickly and then the gears just drop really really quickly as well or sorry not the gears but the revs it's just a change in speed of of those rear wheels it's just mad how quickly it does it yeah i don't know how how i feel about this thing Oh, there it goes. I knew. I was waiting to see when I could actually spin this thing out. I generally feel like this car can only do one thing and one thing only. And that is just to handle really, really well around corners. And he did say that it has a, quite a lot of grip. And you're right, it does. If you adjust it, you're deaf a little better. For grip racing. Instead of having it so it does that, this thing absolutely rips around corners. It's so fast the way it handles these corners. This is a much better grip build than it is a drift build. I'll tell you that now. If I'm just careful on throttle, it's so good. And high speed as well. My god. This is crazy to drive. Again, like I said, mess with your diff with this thing and have it a grip build and you'll thank me later. It's just so good for... Like, this is what mine was like before I put this tune on it. It's just a grip build and the thing so good for it. Yeah, trust me. Mess around with your diff. Have it so it doesn't uh, want to oversteer every single time you floor it. And it controls your, your throttle a little bit better. And trust me, you'll have such a good grip build. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to drive. I, I can't say it's, it's not nice to drive. It is really, really nice to drive. But as a grip car, not as a drift car. As a drift car, it's super twitchy. It's weird to drive. But as a grip build, so good. So, so good. Well, I guess that's the end of this series on Forza Horizon 4. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was a long, long video to record, honestly. it's I've been recording for so long. Um, so I really do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, obviously show your support, like the video, comment, do whatever it is you guys want to do. And yeah, now I have to go edit this thing. And it's going to take me a long time again as well. But that doesn't matter. It's, it's literally my job to do it, so I'm not complaining. But yeah, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.